Well, Ram Mandir opening later this month, and uh, what are the kind of exciting news which we are getting? Indian Hotels has decided a pact to build two luxury hotels. That's in Ayodhya. Delhi, Mumbai, Ayodhya flight have started by Interglobe Aviation from 15th of Jan, so it'll start like next week. To connect seven other cities, special thousand trains for Ram Temple or Ram, you know, Mandir inauguration. That's, you know, uh, some bit more in terms of what kind of business is just going to generate. And, you know, if I just look at the multiplier on the economy per se, pure economic multiplier of Ayodhya, for one minute, I'm just going to keep uh, everything else and only talk about the real impact of the business per se. We are looking at complete transformation in Uttar Pradesh. And the word religious tourism, which up until now was something which nobody thought of, is now a reality. So, which are some of the stocks which have rallied? And that's how markets move. You know, they always move in and around large themes. So, when Chandrayaan 2 happened, all the space-related stocks, they went out of the park. Nobody's talking about it today because that was like a one-time effect. But when it comes to religious tourism and what essentially is going to happen post Ayodhya, uh, I guess is a real deal, which means that now for multiple years, you actually will see tourism surviving, thriving and growing in a multiform manner, at least in and around Ayodhya and also Varanasi and new centers which are getting developed. Now, this is one company which is up 68% Privek. They essentially are in the business of religious tourism. Let's look at Indian hotels. Let's look at IRCTC. So, Basin Saab, which is the favorite stock, or which is your favorite stock when it comes to religious tourism? Well, first, <clears throat> Jai Shri Ram, I mean, we are all looking forward to that, uh, you know, biggest un un unfolding of the temple and, uh, I mean, a lot of uh, Asta is involved in that. And like you rightly said, the biggest business, at least in India, is religion. And religion, uh, religious tourism has got so much of credence and, uh, you know, I do a lot of uh, tourism. Whenever I go, wherever I can, I do a lot of uh, my, my visits to most of the temples and so on. And I observe over there how religion over there in each smaller tier, two tier, three city is worshipped and so on. So I, I have a clear mandate. IRCTC is headed to 1200 rupees over this year. And um, Indian Hotel is again shining like a jewel. You know, Nikun, yesterday we had some uh, bookings to be done for people. Uh, I, I'm, I'm heading to indoor before, just around the budget. And, and you won't believe there is no room available below 10,000 rupees. I mean, even average three, three star, four star, you know, for some. So you can imagine room rates are going through the roof and the available, the, the, the demand is uh, unsatiable. So I think clearly the winners are going to be uh, Indian Hotel and, uh, 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 the IRCTC. Also, if I can say, you know, Indus Tower is the largest player in setting up telecom uh, towers. And I think that once you have more visibility there, that would be another place where uh, 5G connectivity and the whole host will be on a very, very large scale. So, uh, as a disclosure, we've had coverage on Indus Tower. We think the biggest beneficiary of Vodafone survival and now a capital infusion will see return of capital to Indusind, which will see a very big dividend. And 5G connectivity and more towers is seeing the roost. So Indus Tower is a stock which I think can be re-rated all the way to 300. 